Welcome back to the second installment of our three-part series on creating consistent characters for a children's book and animated video. Today, I'll walk you through the process of transforming my simple script and the images generated in our previous video into a storyboard, interior, and cover for the book using Canva. Afterward, I'll provide a brief overview of how to upload your files to Amazon KDP. Let's get started. First, let's check Amazon KDP's requirements for a paperback. I will make an 8x10 book with premium color ink. Find the row for the size, then go to the last column. The minimum and maximum number of pages are 24 and 828, respectively. The book will have 24 pages and bleed because I want the backgrounds to touch the edges of the pages. So the page size needs to be 8.125 by 10.25 inches. To ensure the background images span across two pages seamlessly, I'll start by creating a storyboard. Picture opening a book. The storyboard will represent the left and right pages side by side. Its dimensions must be twice the page width, 16.25 inches, and match the page height, 10.25 inches. While not essential, creating a storyboard streamlines the book creation process and aids in the animation video's development. Go to Canva and create a new design. Click Custom Size. Change the unit to inches and enter 16.25 and 10.25. Here is the storyboard with guides for the bleed and margin. If you don't see the rulers, go to File, View Settings, Show Rulers and Guides. The bleed is 0.125 inches and the margin is 0.25 inches for a total of 0.375 inches. Anything in the outer bleed or margin is at risk of being cut off during printing. The guide in the middle separates the two pages and the guides on either side are for the inner gutter which is 0.375 inches, but this will vary depending on the number of pages of the book. The inner gutter will not be cut off, but if there is any text in that area, it might be hard to read. I uploaded all of the images for the book, so I'll click on one to add it to the page. Right-click and set it as the background. This scene depicts Lisa feeling sad, so I will add this image. Notice that the top and bottom of image are cut off, so I will try to fix it. Go to Edit Photo, then click Magic Expand. Extend the top and bottom of the image. This tool will attempt to magically fill in the missing part of her hair and shoes. I don't like how the shoes look in any of these images, so I'll cancel. Let's just expand the top. I like this one. Now, Let's remove the background. I positioned Lisa to the side and not the middle because I don't want her to span across two pages of the book and I want to leave enough room for the text. Since her shoes are cut off, I will place her at the bottom of the page so it appears that they are partly out of view. The next scene will be Lisa reading a book in the library. I like this image, but the character doesn't look like Lisa. so. I'll edit the photo using the Magic Grab tool. You will see a rectangle around the detected object. Just hit the Delete button on your keyboard and the object is removed. Now, I will add the image of Lisa reading a book. When editing your images, remember to leave enough space for the text. The last scene will be Lisa sitting under a tree. I will flip this one so she will be on the left page. I'm going to add a drop shadow for realism. Adjust the settings until you get the desired result. Here are all of the images I will use for the book and animation video. You can also add elements like backgrounds, graphics, 
and even videos that are available in Canva. The first frame of the video will be used when I download it as an image. I could add the script at this stage, but I won't because I want to keep it separate from the background image just in case I need to change it or animate it in the third video. Once the storyboard is finalized, I'll download it as PNG files. Increase the size by 3.125 if you have a pro account. If your downloaded images look blurry, try downloading them as PDF print. Now, let's create the interior of the book. Create a new design that is 8.125 by 10.25 inches. Extract the downloaded images folder and upload them. Add the first scene to the page. Drag guides to the edges of the page. Place the top and left guide at zero. Place the bottom guide at the height of the page, which is 10.25, and place the right guide at 8.125. Move the image to the top left corner until it snaps to the guides. Drag and expand it down and to the right until it snaps to the bottom guide. Copy the page. Move the image to the left until the right side snaps to the right guide. The left side of the image needs to be on an even number page, so I'll just add a new page above. Go here to see the pages in grid view. Repeat this process for every scene. You will probably want to add more pages to the front of the book for copyright, dedication, etc. Just make sure the left side of your images are on even number pages. Now, it's time to add the script. I created a simple script in Google Docs, but you can use ChatGPT to help create your script. Copy and paste the script for each scene. Format the text by changing its color, size, outline, etc. Also, make sure the text is within the margins. I will just eyeball it, but you can add guides 0.375 inches from the edges and place the text inside the guides. Go to ChatGPT and ask for a sample copyright page for a children's book. Copy the text to the first page. Format and adjust it so it's inside the margins. Replace the placeholders with your information. The second page will be a This Book Belongs to page. I will search for a template and edit it to my liking. Remember, the required minimum number of pages is 24, so I'll add some blank pages at the back of the book. Download it in PDF print format. I usually flatten it to avoid printing errors. Choose CMYK if you have a pro account, otherwise choose RGB. Next, I'll create the book cover template using Amazon KDP's cover calculator. Once ready, click the Download Template button. Let's create a new design with the dimensions from the book template for the book cover. I extracted the template folder that I downloaded earlier and uploaded the PNG file to Canva, drag guides to the edges of the page,
Add the template and drag it to the edges, making sure it covers all of the page. I'm going to use one of the images I used for the interior, but you can generate one in DALE or any other AI image generator. I will add graphics and text for the title and author's name. Now I will design the back cover. Check that all important graphics and text are inside the white area and that the text is centered. After making a couple of changes, the book cover is ready to be downloaded as a PDF print file. The interior and cover files are ready for upload to KDP. I will provide a quick overview of this process, but if you would like a full tutorial, check out the Easter coloring book video that is available on this channel. For the print options, choose premium color interior with white paper because it provides the best results for your colored illustrations. Select 8x10 for the trim size and select bleed. I've already uploaded the manuscript and book cover. Make sure to choose yes for AI generated content if you used any AI tools for your images or script. I'm going to preview the book and check that all important text is within the dotted rectangle and the images are aligned correctly. In our next video, I'll demonstrate how to turn this storybook into an animated video using Pika Labs, Canva, and Eleven Labs. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.